Hey guys, we're gonna recreate this scene today in Illustrator and then in After Effects. It's from an actual explainer video. I'll leave a link in the description if you haven't seen it yet. The wallet is easy to design if you use the grid. Also, make sure that the snapping is enabled as well. You can customize the grid if you need to. I start with a simple rectangle. This will be the front side of the wallet. Then let's create this shape. I don't know how you want to call it. It's the inside of the wallet where the coins will be dropping. I round the corners where required and reposition the points if I see I need to. Finding the best proportions is the key when you're designing that clean minimalist geometric style. Noting specific details and keeping recognizable proportions is all it's about. The entire explainer video is text based, so I had to leave quite a lot of room for text, much more than is needed for simple captions. I basically treat text as equally important element of the scene. In After Effects, as you see, the coins just move down from the top of the frame, and the movement in the graph editor it is visible is slower when it starts and picks up speed towards the end, because the longer an object is in free fall, the higher its velocity. That's physics, right? Now let's animate the trails or speed lines. We'll do that with a trim path. I usually set the keyframes both for the end and the start, somewhere in the middle of the timeline, and then I go a few frames back and tweak the start parameter. Then I go a few frames forward and tweak the end. Let's see if it looks correct. I think they look good. When we go back to the scene, it's evident we need a track mat for the coins because they have to disappear in the wallet, right? So they should become invisible at some point. And that point is right when they hit that horizontal line on the wallet. So I create a simple rectangle and position it like so. It has to border with that line. And let's change the mat for alpha mat looks nice now the final touch let's imitate that the wallet catches the coins and moves along inertially a bit it'll create the illusion that coins have weight that can impact another element let's type path in the search bar and set the keyframes for every path we find here then we go several frames forward and using that white arrow which is the selection tool we select the upper part of the wallet and just move it down a few pixels using the keyboard arrows then going a few more frames forward again, we move the upper part of the wallet back to its place. So at the end we should have this tiny motion. The wallet kind of dips down and then jumps back up. And now again we need to find the correct timing for this little path animation. It has to happen when the coin hits the wallet. The keyframes in the middle stand for the dip, so they should be positioned when the coins hit the wallet. These two actions must happen simultaneously. Let's check if the timing is correct. I think we did a great job. Give this video a like if it was useful, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!